now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. And by Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, May 24th. I'm Christina Bayer. Glenrock police make a surprising discovery in a man's car. Tap into Glenrock reports that police caught up with a 60-year-old erratic driver who they not only arrested for DWI, but also was in possession of nearly 150 prescription bottles of various opioid and prescription drugs that were in names of over 30 individuals. Camden gets millions to restore the brownfields. Stephanie Camden reports the Camden Redevelopment Agency is receiving over half of 6.5 million that the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency awarded the state for brownfield restoration projects. Officials announced that the city is going to sink most of its 3.5 million federal grant to into Elijah Perry Park, which will include removing underground contaminants. Cranford fourth graders raised the money for charity. Tap into Cranford reports a group of Orange Avenue school students raised money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. They set up a lemonade stand with homemade baked goodies and collected $470 in two hours. They plan to continue their fundraising. Up next to Somerville Pastor's unique request for the community. Welcome back. A Somerville pastor is attempting to organize a flash mob. He's asking for residents to join him on the steps of the church at 100 West Main Street this Thursday, May 26 at 6 p.m. for a flash mob photo op to support Red Nose Day. Tap into Somerville publisher Rod Hirsch has the unique story. Reverend Jansen is uh, very active in the community. Um, the, the church over the years uh, that I've known him has hosted any number of uh, different community-based events, you know, all for the betterment of, of, of the public good. Uh, this is his latest. Um, the Red Nose Day originated in the United Kingdom back in 1988. Wow. Um, and it was adopted by uh, Comic Relief um, here in the States, I think in 2008. So it's been around for maybe 14 years or so. Uh, they have, between England and the United States, they've raised, I believe, over a billion dollars. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, lot of money. And, and, and all of this money is devoted to bettering the lives of children around the world. Primarily, you know, in the United States, Latin America, and, and in Europe, and now most recently, the Ukraine. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're trying to direct a lot of uh, money and, and aid to the kids in the Ukraine. Um, and it's a real real simple uh, premise, um, they sell these, I'm mean, basically Bozo, remember Bozo? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, they, they, they sell these Bozo noses uh, at Walmart for a dollar a piece. And uh, that all of that gets, gets turned over. Now, Reverend Jansen in Somerville went out and bought, I think he told me 120 red noses. Mm -hmm. And uh, frankly, he doesn't want them kicking around uh, you know, after the fact. So he's hoping that he gets at least 100 people to show up uh, and they want to fill the, the front steps of the church for, a, you know, for a photo op and just, you know, a good time kind of thing. That's awesome. So, so he's hoping that at least 100 people show up. And if they do, it's sort of just, it's also just giving back, but also a community effort. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's, um, you know, post COVID, I don't want to say post COVID, but you know, we're, we're slowly getting back to normal and uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend in Somerville happens to be probably the town's biggest weekend. So this kind of just plugs into, you know, everything that's, that's going on. And um, Reverend Jansen is, as I say, he, uh, he does a lot of things to draw people into the church. This will, this will kind of finish it off. Um, um, and, and, uh, um, yeah, as I say, Reverend Jansen is, uh, uh, he's known for his, his community outreach. It's great. I mean, and it's just one thing after another at that church. So, you know, it's more than just, you know, kneeling down and saying prayers at, at, uh, at his church. To reach Tap Into's large local audience, visit tapintomarketing.net. 
Thank you for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, brought to you by Lakeland Bank and Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council.